Okay, guys, we're back. Hadley doodly. Hmm, time for another episode. Uh, today, we're going to primarily be running through the Fadro Temple dungeon uh, and doing some story around that. Yay, story! Yep. Uh, new story, because that's uh, part of the main quest line. There are a few things we need to get out of the way beforehand, some quests that we have left over, so it's possible this episode runs a little bit long, uh, but we'll try to press on as efficiently as we can. Yay. So, let's get started. Uh, yeah, he's all set. So we have this quest here. I'm actually going to go ahead, and just so I don't forget to do it, we're going to start in Bergen Village and clean up this quest that I have left over Ah, uh, yes, you still have to finish that one. Yes, still have to finish this quest. Yeah, you said you were going to do it last time. I was going to do it last time, happen. and we never did. That's okay. That's all right. So our first first quest of the day is going to be this one. So this is you. Hi. Oh, hi, Leah. You've come just at the right time. Huh? You see, I'm pretty new in this guild here. New members are mainly on duty for farming trade items. We also have to do chores, one of which was just given to me. Huh? Oh, it's something too hard for others, I guess. My job is to get a storage unit from the cellar to the right. I thought she was going to say dishes because I totally get her with that. <laughs> but this thing is a maze, I tell you. I couldn't find the thing. Instead, all I found were boxes and more boxes. I already tried to talk to Jock and Jeff, but I can't seem to find them. They are online, and I even tried a stupid direct link. No luck. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what they're up to. Anyway, guess what I'm trying to ask is, would you help me find the storage unit? Hey, yeah. sure. If it were me, I'd be like, hey, could you do my dishes? I'll do your laundry. <laughs> Thanks, Leah. I know I can count on you. Uh, well, you can get to the cellar via the right, do the right door over there. Yeah. Tell the quadra guard I sent you in the name of the guild. Apparently, that's how things work around here. She looks very happy all of a sudden. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, you can find this stupid thing. I don't want to make a bad first impression here. Hmm. Coin. I heard everything. You're doing the rookie's job for her. Pretty lame of her, but I don't care. Knock yourself out. Huh? <laughs> She's like, what? Mm -hmm. So we have a couple of other chests that are down here. So essentially, we're just going to make our way through this room here. There's a bunch of boxes, and this is kind of an interesting pushing puzzle. So we're just going to do all of this. And then... I keep thinking no. that, like, hey, look out, you may find the Ark of the Lost Ark of the Covenant in there. Oh, I messed up, actually. I needed to have that move first. Oh, well. Oh, well. Again, Lost Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, Lost Ark of the Covenant, right. Could be in there. You never know. So, yeah, this one comes down here. Top men, Leah. We have this top men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, top Top man, what? Well Top. done. Uh, You're welcome. That's why you keep me that's around. That's why I keep you around. For, for the quotes for the, and the men. For the quips and the quotes. <laughs> All right. Um, the first thing I thought was, ooh. And no, I don't watch Warehouse 13. Sorry. I don't have any quotes right. from that one. So this one comes over here. And then we get, get down here. Ooh. You stay there. <laughs> Citron, you're you're gamely managing to follow me around here. Well done. Well done, Citron. And now we have a shortcut and you're back. On your way. So that's part one of that. Yeah, they've uh, they've done some nice things with the uh, the party AI. Oh. Just just in terms of, you know. I mean, it's not like they can block you or anything, but their intelligence in terms of uh, moving around the area is actually pretty impressive, I That's think. That's legit. Yeah, I think they've done a really good job with it. That is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Can I set this up in a good way? We'll do... Yeah, we'll do it like this so that we can get through it's there. It's hard to find responsive party members these days. And do you over there... You up there, and you over there, and then we need to move that up a little further. There, there. <laughs> I 
actually necessary. You gotta be very particular. Eh? I'm very particular about this. I know. That's okay. I like I like having everything nice and organized. Yeah, All no, right, so I those are those are moved where they need to go. We also need to pull this guy up here. Yeah. And then we have a chest. So that is that Yay. quest in essence. Um, we are gonna hop back over the crates. Um, and we will get this in a second, but since there's a cutscene right here, we actually have to wait for it. That should do it for today. Ooh. Ha ha! Indeed, I missed it. I missed enough to ever throw all the guilds. That guy. Well, voice. at least the smaller ones. I think it's about time to fill in Jean. Mm -hmm. Nah, she's just so naive. We have to ease her into it. What? Remember how annoyingly happy she was the other day about the legendary rabbit? Still hasn't realized he's just a plain old young frobbit. Lies. <laughs> True enough. Venture attack it slow. But but we found one that was the magical frobit. Well, there there was one, but that's not what we gave her. <laughs> they didn't know it either. She didn't know it. She's Plus, if we to do stuff. If right? we tell her now, chances are she bails and puts her operation at risk. We need her and her attitude to get us more members. I hate that we can't just do credit trading anymore. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go to the boss. Hey hey. Shady stuff. What are they up to? What are they doing? What are they doing? I don't, I don't like this. Oh, wait. I need to set myself up here first. Uh, we need... You over there, and this over here. Yeah, something like that. That'll work out. Um, and then we can come down here... back over the top of the boxes and get our little extra chest. Ooh. Prickly bracer. Nice. Oh. oh. Are you new? Is there a line for the high ranks in the guild? Uh, guess we can't. Shady stuff. What is this guild doing? I don't know. It's like the Harry Potter thing. Hi, Leah! Hi! Jeff and Jock is breezed through here. Coming right from the basement, it seems. These guys. I was trying to contact them all this time and they were stacking in the basement. Didn't even say hello on the way out. Aww. It's alright, I'm gonna have to talk to them later. I have to recruit new players and they both wanted to help me. <sighs> mm -mm. Hmm? What is it, Leah? It's really nothing. I'm okay with it. I'm sure they're just busy helping our guild. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, did you happen to find a storage unit? Hmm. Awesome. Thanks so much, Leah. The general of this branch is currently in Maroon Valley, so I'm going to head off and give the units to him as quickly as I can. Here, take this as a small thank you. So she was trying to tell her. Yep. But. Yep. It didn't work. But it didn't work out. So that's that quest. And now we're going to hop back over to Akikun. And do the other side quest that we've left open. Which is this one. What is it, Seeker? Can't you see I'm busy keeping order in this unruly place? He's going to get some special arc at some point. Hi. Shad, merchants being robbed, is that the story of the day again? That is completely impossible. Not on my watch, anyway, and it's always my watch during business hours. Hmm. Listen, Seeker, I know your kind always searches for grand adventures and villains to slay, but this is just some village ploy by them shady scale skins to cash in on compensations. You don't be racist. No racist guard. Anyway, there's a watch to keep. Don't waste my time unless you can present some solid proof. Bye. Jeez. Don't like that. So let's nice. let's gather some information around here. Yeah. What? Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Hi. This is a uh, uh, this is a this is a male. It doesn't have earrings. <laughs> Human asking about crime on market. Hmm. 
It big problem. Goods and money vanishing from market stand. We shan't busy selling quality crafts for fair price to happy customers, so no notice. But bearded god, he care very much. Always visiting, asking about money, food breaks, and giving hints for safety. Still, things get stolen. He very disappointed and sad, I fear. Hmm. Hi. Hey, Sigur, can I help you with anything? We, uh... Ah, oh, you're here because of those criminal... Blah. Those criminal activities here on the market? Hmm. I see, so the sergeant is finally losing, losing his patience. I can't blame him. Listen, I want this to be solved as much as he does. The Shatter and honest and trusting folk, they don't deserve this. Just, it always happens without any one of us or the traders noticing. We're completely at a loss. <sighs> Honestly, one would think that at least Billson would notice something, that crazy workaholic. Hmm. But no, this stuff seems to vanish without a trace. Unbelievable. Hmm. I wonder if it is Billson. Hmm. He seems awfully... Hi! Human Seeker, do you search for Troublemaker on market? Hmm. Hooray! Trade was hard times with money and goods being stolen. Was worried. Guards lose interest in case. Mustache guard, very watchful, but he also speaks speak much to Rectangle. Huh? Yes, yes, weird small Rectangle you sometimes talk to. Seem much importance to him. Huh. Rectangle, huh? Guard Bilston seems suspicious. A little bit. Possible hint? Possible hint. Ta -ta. You have to wait till his back is turned to do that, by the way. Oh. Don't get caught, y'all. Hoo hoo. <laughs> Can you steal his little rectangle? Activate. Yes. Hello. I'm here. Is that you, boss? Hi. You sound weird today, boss. Please don't get angry again. I'm still laying low at the solar farm, just as you said. Everything's all right, yeah? Hmm. Hello? Boss? Did anything go wrong? Hi. <laughs> this is so coy. They're gonna, like, know something's going on. <laughs> They're gonna know. They're gonna know. Actually, I got that piece of equipment. Is that? Uh, that's not really better than anything I have right now. Uh, yeah, I got good equipment right now. Anything wrong? I'm just sitting here. Hi. Crimes in the bazaar? What are you talking about? I don't know anything. <laughs> So it was you on the communicator. Damn that Bilson. I thought someone as ruthless as him would at least be more careful. <laughs> he roped me into this, I swear. Told me all about the money, threatened me if I refused, all that. No one will care about it, he said. Those scaly idiots don't know how to handle the money anyway. Jeez. So much for that. Jeez. Well, time to come clean then, I suppose. At least I can bring down that jerk with me. Mm, let's bring him down. Well, well, well. Where might you lot be going? Hi. I knew something was wrong once I noticed my communicator missing. You seekers are a sneaky lot, huh? <laughs> Forget it, man. You messed up. This is over. It, it is, right? <laughs> oh, for you it is. Me, though? I prepared something special just for moments like this. Huh? Uh-oh. What a sneaky fellow. He's not nice. This will be the end of you, and no one will ever know the truth. Mm. Dude, look where we are! This is madness! Silence! These expensive preparations won't go to waste, and I'm out of here. Bye. You know Leah's just gonna... just, just trounce it. Uh, you know how to handle this, right? Mm. Good, so I'll just be hiding around that corner. Good luck! She's like, geez, I gotta do all the work around here. And he just put up a little wall for himself. Yeah. So, the trick is, we need to actually hit that guy for a bit to get the shields off on these, these folks. Alright. So, yeah. Break him, the shields come off of these. And then, he 
He's all ours. There we go. Simple enough. Well, that was certainly something. Leave it to a seeker to save the day. <laughs> uh, anyway, time to go on our ways, right? Uh, bye. Leah. What? After all we've been through? I was a victim as much as everyone here. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll turn myself in. At least it's just across the street. Mm -hmm. That was easy. It's easy when you know what to do, anyway. I'll see myself inside. So, bye, Seeker. Sorry for the trouble, and thanks for not letting me die, I guess. Yeah, yeah bye. Bye. Ah, Seeker, welcome back. We just had a troubled young man confess his crime. He certainly did bad things, but he came clean, so I don't think we need to punish him too much. Oh, good. Hmm. Other things he said, though. It makes me sad that a bad fruit like Bilston was just among us. Yeah. I should have been more vigilant. Maybe this old man has become too soft with age. Hmm. Uh, no, old human is best as a protector. Yes, preserving great peace for shad and humans. True. Mistake happened, that life. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, shucks, you're too kind with this rusty soldier. Mm -hmm. But you're right. We should just look forward. Thank you for your help, Seeker. Bilkin, Bilston is still at large, but his crime should stop for now. Mm. I hope we can count on your help again, in case more trouble arises. Goodbye! Mm. Yay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Hero Seeker. Protect more justice. Bye. Protect more justice. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. That's so funny. So that's all taken care of. So those are the side quests that we need to handle. I'm pretty sure everything is all taken care of. We're going to do this. This is going to come later. Uh, this we can't do until that's fixed. This we are continuing to do over time. Neat. So, at this point, we can just go ahead uh, out to Maroon Valley over to this tree, Maron. and now it's time to continue with the story. Oh, Maron. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it Stop, goes. human! Ah! You need pass from Eldris if you want to enter cave. Mm. Oh, is that pass? So a human must be here to help defeat Sandworm. Mm. Great! Then please enter cave and defeat all Sandworm. Like that is all! Mm. Wait! Yeah. Chad almost forgot! There is very strong red sandworm in cave! Please defeat that worm, most important, because very dangerous to tree! Red sandworm will also drop strange item. Show me item to prove you defeated red sandworm, okay? Mm. All right! Good luck, human! Jeez. Gosh, what a loud fellow. You seriously. You're very good at... You're too good at doing that <laughs> loud fellow. Cave time! Wait, there's running water down here? Mm -hmm. mm. That's weird, considering there are lakes out there. You'd think everything would flood over. <laughs> I suppose you could make it work by carefully crafting the area somehow. <laughs> what was that reaction she had? Like, you nerd. Oh, okay. Oh, nasty things. Yep. We're going to be fighting a lot of these. Well, then I'll just keep looking away. La la la. Don't like you, Tim's. Like nothing against human Tims, but these Tims I do not like. Okie dokie, first couple Tims defeated. What's up with that name, anyway? Yeah. <sighs> I know. What is up with that name? Will we ever find out? It, it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. I 
wonder if somebody who developed them, like, had a previous manager they hated named Tim. And they just did that. Nice decoy work, Citron. Yeah. <laughs> that flashy purple cape of yours. And over here. Being a little sloppy, but that's okay. <laughs> hey, that good. should be all for this level, right? Uh, by the way, did you know that worms have five hearts? Like real earthworms do. What? Huh? I, I mean, they're not quite as complex as human hearts, but still. That is pretty cool. Makes <laughs> you wonder about the anatomy of these sandworms. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, uh. No? <laughs> no, because she's like, ew. <laughs> No, it doesn't. And he's like, really? And she's like, no. I think it's fascinating. <laughs> I think it's fascinating. I would be like, what? Tell me more. But Leah does not like them. Sandworms. I don't know that line from Beelzebub very well, but I'm compelled to say it. Sandworms. Hate them. Hate the sandworms. <laughs> It's a red sandworm. That must be the red sandworm. Better be careful. Uh huh. You. Mm. He's like, you know, I will. I mean, I am pretty good at this, <laughs> um, so it could be a difficult fight. Depends on on how comfortable you are with the game. Anyway, Fair enough. I suppose the Tim residue is the strange item the guard wants to see, right? Tim residue. Mm. Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a direct link? Mm. Hi. I'm. Wait, who's that? Uh, hello, I'm Citra. Oh, you're the other member from the first scholars, no? Yes, that's me. Squip, yes, you'll join our party, we? Yes, in fact... So where are you two right now? Uh, Leah and I are currently in the Maroon Tree Cave. Maroon Tree Cave? <gasps> Wait, you saw us at the quest already? Mm. Uh, it looks like we've almost finished it. Oh, man, I wanted to do that quest with you. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had that planned. No, it's fine. Have a problem. I quickly rushed through that quest myself. You two just wait for me, Deco. Mm. Uh, sure. Au revoir. Bye. Ah, Dran, I feel bad now. Mm -mm. Uh, you mean I don't have to? Well, uh, let's just go back to the cave entrance and show the item to the guard. Mm -hmm. I think the cave interior is instanced, but we might be able to meet Emily outside. Mm. They have five hearts. Because <laughs> that's it. Yep. Mm -hmm. so, make 
our way back outside. See, Tron, you're so slow. Gotta keep up. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Yeoman! Ah. Did you kill our sandworm? Mm. I see you have strange item. Please give to me. Team strange item, very good for maroon tree. Putting in earth helps to grow. Mm. Wait, so I guess that stuff was done? Yeah. Good thing we got rid of it. Yeoman! Please hand me pass. Ugh. I make note for Eldris. You can now go and get shiny orb. Thanks a lot for help. Mm. Bye, human! It's really loud. Bonjour! Sorry. It's just... I know. That's the joke, right? Gotcha, you little runaways. Hi! Hi, Emily. It's nice to finally meet you. Wait, nice to meet you, too. And again, I'm sorry we didn't wait for you. No, really, it's fine. We never made any plans, anyway. Ugh, I can understand why you'd play ahead. I've been offline for quite some time. It's just that I really had to wrap up everything for that project. Oh, gosh. Daddy's keeping you busy, huh? not half the story yet. Isn't that right, Lila? Blah. Words. Mm. Anyway, work is over now, and I've got plenty of free time, so I'm ready. Try best to beat that cave as quickly as possible. Ah, no rush. I suggest we meet in Baki Coom in front of the quest hub once you're done. Sound good? Oui, très bien. See you soon. Bye. Whoa. Ah, well, she sure is full of energy. <laughs> Anyway, there's no reason to hurry, but I guess we can slowly head back to Baki Coom, right? Mm. Let's go then. Yay, we don't really have a whole lot left to do over here, so we're just gonna go right on back. Nice. Here we are. Mm. Uh, seems like Emily's still busy with the Matroon Tree Cave. Now, I guess I'll have a look around the market. Feel free to join me. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Ah. Oh, it's you. Hi. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, are you looking for my friend? Uh. Yeah, he's not here. I plan to meet him soon, though. Oh. I heard you've been dueling, hmm? Mm. And you even managed to defeat him. He was impressed. Mm. Uh, anyway, he talks a lot about you. Almost makes me jealous. Yeah. Hmm. Girl, a few words, aren't you? Looks like you don't appreciate his attention. Mm -mm. <laughs> what can I say? That's just him. Mm -hmm. Always obsessed with strangers, especially spheromancers. Mm -hmm. So you'd rather avoid him, right? I better leave before he runs into you. Uh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Ah, there you are. I was just browsing consumables. It's kind of funny how they decorate it with all those fruits you can't actually buy, isn't it? <laughs> ah, that reminds me. I heard you can still count with your fingers, right? Mm. How did you... He probably asked uh, Lynn. He oh, heard, that's he, a good point. He heard about the point. whole quiz thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. It's actually quite amazing how precisely they managed to synchronize your dexterity. It means you can move your fingers as much as you could in real life. Want to give it a try? Hmm? Try this. <laughs> uh, now this. <laughs> and now this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one isn't for everybody. Uh, anyway, since you can mimic things with I your hand, I can do it. maybe sign language would be an option for communication. Uh. Uh, I guess it'd be impossible to learn it. <laughs> also, I guess most other players don't know sign language either. Hmm. Well, we really wouldn't have this problem if they'd simply support text-based communication. Mm -hmm. But they removed it all because of immersion. Mm -hmm. People have complained about this before. Mm -hmm. I did it! I defeated the red one, finally! Mm. Ah, congratulations! The man's also was so annoying, so hard to punch! I guess projectiles would have been more feasible. I'm a pet fist now. What do you think my fists are for? Well... Anyway, I'll head back to Baki Coop. See you soon. Bye. Okie dokie. Let's go back to the quest hub then. Mm. Uh. Uh, is something the matter, Leah? Mm. Uh. Uh, anyway, let's just go, okay? Um, I'm gonna get caught. 
Blue-haired Spheromancer. Uh, so we meet again. Is he just standing up there waiting for us? That's exactly what he was doing. Hi. Sorry, he spotted you as you left. Uh, hello, I'm Citron. I suppose you know each other? I see you got yourself another party member, Spheromancer. The, uh... Anyway, I'm glad to see you progress this far into the game. It is due time to put your skills to another test. Blue-haired Spheromancer, I challenge you to another duel. The most amazing, like, he's yelling and she's just like, ugh. It's a great shot. No. Yeah. Here I am. Oh, no, it's Monsieur Grasshead. Do you accept, Spheromancer? Ugh, yeah. Oh, is it another duel? Come on, the hysteria deserves another beating. What is it? You seem less eager this time. Do you accept, Spheromancer? Leah! Seriously, this is stupid. Use her name already. <sighs> is this important to you? Well then, accept the duel. If you earn my respect, I might call you by your name. <sighs> Do you accept? <laughs> Good. Let's meet in front of the Fadro Temple. I'll be expecting you. Make sure to be well prepared. See you soon, Spheromancer. Bye. He's a piece of art. Oh, bother. Sometimes I wonder why I keep up with this oddball. See you around. Yeah, why do you keep up with him? I I'm confused. Who was that? Oh, he's some kind of self proclaimed justice guy. He re blah, sorry, thinks really highly of Spearmancers. Leah kicked his derriere. I see. What a unique character. Oui, mm -hmm. he's an idiot. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, it's time for a party of three. Let's wrap up that quest already so we can finally go to Fajro Temple. Agreed. I guess next we should report to the Eldress, right? I think so, Monsieur Trani. Hmm. Like she's asleep. What's going on? Uh, she's just like, ugh, uh, exhausted. I'm so over this guy. I'm so over this guy. <sighs> oh my gosh. You're annoying. Dear human, did you defes pesky sandworms below maroon tree? Indeed, I see no John Paz. Thank you so much, human. Because of your help, Tree will live many more years. Now I'll hand you shiny thing for reward. <laughs> shiny thing. Human can bleh. human now can go to Mystic Statue and Market to receive key to Fajro Temple. Hmm. Yay! Hooray. Got it. Level up. Woo! Alright. Let me make sure of where I am circuit-wise. I've got a few more things I can add. Um, where do I want to go with my stuff? Extra focus. Let's do extra focus. More crits. More, more crits, crits is good. More crits. And over here... Um, what do we have on our tree that we really want to get? We can definitely jump over to more of that and more of that. Focus is a really nice thing to add to your circuit for just... It helps in a lot of ways. It's a kind of a confusing stat, but it ups your critical rate, um, it reduces the rate at which you get critted, it increases the amount, um, and it makes you build SP faster, so you can pull off arts more frequently. Um, just generally useful thing to have on there. And my equipment can actually use a little bit more on this, especially in this area. Let's see if we actually have enough to throw another piece of chest equipment on here. The problem is that we actually haven't done a whole lot of enemy grinding in this area. So, so it might should be... we? Is that what that means? Yeah. Um, I don't know. We're actually pretty close on some of these. Well, it'll be fine. I don't really want to get into it too much. We still need to do this. It's a good thing I ran back here. Your prolonged journey brought you to this barren field. Surrounded by boundless sand, I shall hand you the shade of the same. It will open the passage to the Temple of Vadro. Traveler, envoy of change, your next trial awaits you. Okie dokie, got the sand shade. <laughs> oh, 
those are. I wonder if we ever get to find those huge space birds. Uh, I haven't heard of that yet. So this is your first time playing Crossroads too? Ah, uh, pretty much. I know some people who've played longer. Oh, like the other guild members? Oh, not them. I, I don't know them personally. I just joined the first scholars because they seem like fun. Mm -hmm. I like that they're not all about the gameplay. It's funny how Lynn tries to get the most out of the lore and all. Mm. Oh yeah, I noticed that. Man, I can't wait to reach the level of Lucas and the others. Then we can do all kinds of good events. Raids and all that. Ooh. Oh yeah, that does sound like fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, next is Fadro Temple. Also that duel. Wait, that's right. You got to beat your name, but you got to beat your name, which is this guy's head already, Leah. Hmm. You should make well sure you're well prepared. You know, solve some quests, upgrade your equipment, and all that. Hmm. You heard him. Let's go. Yay! So yes. Cool. We are now free to change up our party as we like. Now, I'd like a little extra equipment for this fight, but I don't think I need it. I should be able to to give him a. Uh, Already. An appropriately good fight. <laughs> I think so. Ooh, that's a pretty temple. Blue haired spheromancer! I see you have arrived. Ugh. Go away. It's time for our duel. Once again, the location is just perfect. Mm -hmm. Can't seek the attention of other players, we? Of course. Mm -hmm. He wants his audience. You can't talk him out of it, trust me. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, talk to me when you're ready for the duel. Uh, well, let's never talk to him then. No, okay. <laughs> I see you are prepared. Are you ready for the duel? All right, then. Let's go. Whee. Well, then, good luck. Make sure to give Glass has a beating of a lifetime. I intend to. Mm. Are you ready? Mm. Good. PvP combat, activate. So can other people do this? Good luck, Leah! Time has passed since our last duel. Our characters have grown. We both acquired the heat element. Mm -hmm. So it is time for me, Apollo, to make sure you are still on the right path. The path of a proper sphere answer. Not you, so the duel already. The path of justice. Let the duel begin. Oh my gosh! Your foot to my face, though. How you like it? Please forgive me, though. No. Not bad, but that was just a warm up. Things are getting hot now. We have trained him wrong. As a joke. <laughs> Let's see if you can handle my secret strategy. He's got a thing that he likes to do. Come back here. Get out of my way. All right, fun time is over now. Oh boy. Ah, I won't let you win this easily. Um, then he wins. This isn't over yet! No, it's got it, Leah! Go, go, go! So cute. Gotcha. Booyah. I took a hit, but... Five to one ain't bad. You've grown remarkably. I'm very impressed, Fearmancer. 
Leah. Don't forget your promise. Right. You deserve to be called by your proper name now. Spearamancer Leah, I am looking forward to our next duel. Does that mean we can finally play this game together like we'd originally planned? Mm -hmm. Yes, sorry I made you wait. About time. Let's go. Until next time, Spearamancer Leah. Bye. Congratulations, that was really impressive. Lee, you should have at who's boss. Good work. Hmm. Well then, our next stage would be Fadro Temple, right? Excellent. Oh, exactly. Sorry. I thought there was about... A... It's time for our third dungeon race. Oh, are you two racing dungeons together? That's right. We've been racing dungeons ever since we met at Newcomer's Bridge. Oh, that sounds like fun. Uh, then again, I guess there's no place for me in your competition. Tony, of course you can race with us. The most Mario, right, Leah? Mm. Oh, now if that's the case, don't mind me joining them. Fantastic! Now I really can't wait. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. No, Maybe Leah wants a short breather after the duel. Oh wait, just tell us when you're ready. Mm. Now nah, we got this. All right. So I think it's cute for them to give you an option too. Yeah. Here we go. Are you ready for the race, of Fadra Temple? Yes. Okie dokie. Everybody get ready. Yay. Good luck, everyone. We oui, win. Oui, take your time. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I like this music. So, yeah. This, this is a cool temple. It has a bunch of fun little mechanics in it. Nice. Is there another Zelda? Temple. So, we have these little fan things that work like so. So you can push the bubbles around and then trigger them. Uh, and then we have this nice little setup here. So we get that right there and then trigger it that way. And then these cool little things where you have to shoot a ball through everything. Cool. Grab the key and out the door. So remember that these dungeons work by bouncing keys into locks like so. Making good progress. And we have some new enemy types. Yay, what do we got here? There we go. So yeah, using their bubbles against them uh, to hit them with a nice bit of steam is the way to, to go with those guys. unlocked. Don't forget to come back down here and trigger that switch again so that you can then loop around through this door. Because there is this chest down here to pick up. Uh, it's also entirely possible to do a nice trick shot with this while you're standing here. Shoot it once and then twice immediately and dash through but that's a little more complicated or at least a little bit more timing sensitive so this is the intended way to get to that chest um, all right now we have some mods so the way to properly deal with these guys is to get these poles lit up because they'll be attracted to that 
But the moths are resistant to fire. So, uh, whenever you attack them, you know, moths to a flame. I bet like regular so. moths wish they were impervious to flame. That's the appropriate strategy for dealing with those guys right now. In the future, we will have a much better way of dealing with that. And so now we can see the element of this temple, cold. Ooh, we're going to um, learn cold. We're going to learn cold when we're through this. Now, this is a hey. fun little puzzle. They had to redesign this room so many times to get people to understand what was supposed to happen oh? here. Like so they, how? well, because the goal of this room is actually falling through these little sandy whirlpools um, to the room oh. below. Meanwhile, everybody was like, oh no. And meanwhile, everyone was like, oh no, I don't want to fall into the sand, I'll die. Um, right. And so they actually had to set this up so that you would there, you would have no choice but to do that. Um, wow. So that people would understand. You can see oh. all these little places that you can fall down in here. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Um, here and on the other side as well. Um, I can see that would be scary, man. Well, yeah, it's like, oh no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. That that would kill me. Even though the rest of the sinking sand would also kill me. So there are a couple ways to do this. We want to do this one first and grab a nice chest down here. So we are going to basically loop through this several times. Um, like so. And then we want to set that up a second time. This time we aim in the other direction and that will transform our shot into cold. And then over here that drops this. So, fall down this little hole, and through this door over here. So easy enough. Enemies that you are used to dealing with by this point, I hope. Okay. And we get a key. So now we're going to do the other side of the room. Yay. Over here. So let me double check my uh, that, that, and that. That's the main event. So we have uh, this hole first. Falls there. So that we can hit that switch, like so. Hit the switch. And then we have this hole down here mm -hmm. for another chest. And then finally, we have this top hole right here, which lands us on the platform. And in here, we have some sharksters again. No! I like this guy. This guy. Finally, since we're down here, we're going to take this route as well. Uh, so, we got these little fun water blocks. The water blocks can be uh, melted with steam. Uh, so, and then they can also be frozen with ice, like this. So, you want to do that. Hop over here for that chest. And then we want to do that, so that we can hop up here and get through there. And we create a path, like so. Honey, you're awfully quiet. <laughs> Do you have uh, any commentary in here? Um, I I'll watch a little bit more. So, 
I made the bad decision of trying to learn a new Tunisian yep. crochet yep. stitch while this was going on. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Why don't, why don't you pay attention more? Because like I'm missing the... I'm missing your commentary. Here. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I like the water triangles. I'm yeah. So water cool. triangles. So this one we need to set up um something that we can hit all of these solid barriers hmm. from here because we got to create ice as well. Um, so we're gonna oh. melt those, freeze those. Oh. And oh, wow. Ooh, hit that like so. That is look cool. We also have a way back there with that little button. So why do you think it was cool that I missed? <laughs> uh, just all the puzzles. I, I've just been missing um, having you uh, comment. Oh, I just noticed. Those guys have triangle heads. Like, ink floating in their heads. These guys have triangles floating yep. in their heads. <laughs> No! Floating triangles in their heads. I don't feel like I have really anything to add except weird commentary about the things I'm watching. Yeah, well, that's that's what I want from you. Okay. Is weird commentary <laughs> about the things you're watching. Fair enough. <laughs> I love the way they designed this temple. I don't really have yeah, there's a lot of really cool I design elements. I haven't paid attention very well, so I'm going to have to double back a little bit. Yep. But I really, I can already, I already know I love this temple. Yeah. And I love the sand swirl thing that takes you to the other floor. Yeah. I'm very amused, but it makes complete sense that if you were like, no! Yeah. Because I would have been that way myself. All right. So this, you got to light up all these with ice. What? Because that's what, that's the symbol on the floor, right? So we're trying to, oh. we're trying to create that to open the barrier forward. Whoa. Um, that is cool. And then this one, we have to create this nice little trick shot so there. So instead of having it be lit by fire, you light it with ice? <laughs> yeah. How are those, how are those water things standing? Hmm? How are those water things standing? It's, I don't know, magic. <laughs> Jello, Jello magic. So this one, again, we're trying to get ice. The fire makes this show up. Okay. Um, to get ice, we need to get this all the way around there, right? Yes. Um... But in order for that to work, these need to be frozen. Look. Man, the freezing sound is yep. so satisfying. So, there you go. And I love the little the little um, hexagon beehive type thing. Yep. That's so cool. Bonjour! Hi! Uh, wait, why, why a D-Link? Isn't this a race? Oui, so? Um... Anyway, I guess you both have already met new foes in this dungeon, no? Oh, you mean the jellyfish? I don't care about the jellyfish, Tony. The <laughs> face. Moths. They added moths, and once again, they are huge. So? What, what about them? I hate bugs, and those things are close enough. Gosh. <laughs> uh, but didn't you know that moths play an important role in our ecosystem? What? Pollinating flowers, food source for birds. They're also a great indicator <laughs> for the health of the environment. To me, they are only a great indicator for places I want to leave. In conclusion, moths suck. Race continues now. Bye. Uh, see you later. <laughs> oh, Emily. Oh, Emily. So now that we have three keys, okay. um, Maybe. we can make our way back over here. Cool. So we actually want to be on the top now. And let's start on the side. Why not? Let's start on the side. Why not? So. I get I this bubble Seriously, over here. like those sand swirls, they look so dangerous. It's almost kind of like somebody creates a game theme where they're yeah. like, no, the enemies are blue. Your friends are red. It's like, <laughs> that doesn't feel right, bro. Yeah. However, I don't feel like this is as bad as that. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like there's already quicksand that, that hurts you. So, oops. I don't know what that looks um, like. Oh. oh, the the wavy looking sand in the room oh. is quicksand, and it makes you I sink into it. I, well, I haven't, you know, I'm trying not to sink into it. So, <laughs> uh, but however, if you pointed it out, you, you did point it out already, right? Yeah. Okay, good. You can tell the difference. I don't know if I could. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once once you know it. I mean by it. Wow. This 
Yep. Bouncing bubbles off of things and trying to get the little platform moving. I really like the enemy block in the middle that shows you how many enemies there are. Yep. Cool. Hey, excuse myself for a moment. I promise I'll Okay, back. well, I'm in the middle of a fight, so that's fine. Okay. to return, you take this little platform down here, head out the door, and we find ourselves on this upper platform here, and we can light up this side of the room. And then we'll go back here, and we'll do the other side. So that involves us going up here. So, ah, uh, yeah, so that's the quicksand right here. Let's see. Can I find an angle that makes that work? Not easily. I'll just go fall. When all those fills just fall down a hole. <laughs> Stepping through here. So this is a fun little timing thing right here. Because we want to get oops. Uh, we need to stand right up here and hop right as that switches over. Whoa! I have a feeling if I did this in real life, I would be terrible at it. Yeah, lots of fun little timing things. <laughs> the one that you actually need to progress forward is quite a bit easier to do. Because you just need to come over here, hit the bubble down here, oh, that's good. and hop on over. And then fill up the rest of the room. And then this is a lot of fun, too. over here so now, here. <coughs> and get this up to the second level, Ooh, like and then we hop it all the way around here, and light at the top too. Woo! So what did the ancients make this temple for? To challenge seekers on the track. It's it's all part of an elaborate challenge system. Oh. Alright guys, you, oh, want, you want that fire. Oh, they're giant fire moths. Or ice moths? I don't know. Uh, they're fire moths. I think that's the accurate way to describe what they are. Because okay. they shoot fire at you. That's why they're, that's why they're resistant to fire. I wasn't sure if one of them had yeah. just flown through the torch or something. Yeah, well, they fly up to the torch, um, and they can oh, and they they'll actually the use fire. it to launch a big fireball at you, but that's, that's the moment when you can catch them. Okay. So that's the second half of that. And this is the ice side. And so we have completed fire and ice. all of that. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what we should name this episode. A song of cold and heat. Mm-hmm. Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, yes. We have a big... Ooh, are you not like it? It is scary. Yeah, big old scary ah! thing. So, Wavy Sand, is it quicksand? Did he just turn it all into quicksand? Yes, he did. Oh my gosh, Emily is going to die of terror. <laughs> breaking our stones! He's breaking our stones. He's making things harder. <laughs> I'm glad that the pussy doesn't like immediately take effect. If he can bounce off of it. Oh, All right. close. Do its, do its teeth, are its teeth eyes? Because how can it see you? It has no eyes. Alright. Oh. There we go. 
Like, how does this work? Oh, gosh, that... The giant spider butt is terrifying. Giant pulsating ant lion thing, yes. Ugh. It's... Ee. Anyway. Uh, yeah, mostly that's just getting moving you and getting the bubbles in. easy. I did make that look easy. That was actually a really, really good that fight. That was really hard. Um, okay. So yeah, that fight can be tricky, but yeah, you need to get the bubbles into the right place, blow them up on them, and that'll break them. And then you should be able to get them in one cycle if your your stats are high enough. So now that brings us to the next fun thing, which is a whole new circuit and element Ooh. to work with. I really love the colors in this level. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You have fire and ice. So, How nice. Fire and ice. So we are going to go ahead and start doing that. Pick up that branch. Ooh. Pick up this branch. Ooh, uh, double ooh. I like... Oh, this one is just too good. What is that one? What is that uh, one? This is Hail Flurry, and it's one of my favorite cold arts. Um, and we'll definitely pick up an extra dash art. Now, now where do we want to go? When everybody's upgrading um, on their own computers, Yeah. is it going to go that quick? Because yours just shot down a line. If you pick something on the end of the line, yes. Um, so I'm here. I can pick something all the way down here. And I want this HP regen because that's really nice to have. And it'll pick up everything in between, like this nice pin body and another Oh, attack. that's how that works. Uh, okay. I like I having sure more attack if, like, on my were, tree. I wasn't sure if it was like a super uh, advanced thing. I like having focus on my tree. <laughs> uh, what else do I really want? I wish I could have focus on my tree. A little bit tree. more health. Not easy. Alright, that's a good place to leave it. We're kind of reaching the end of things uh, for what we can do right now. It's really pretty. It really mir They mirror each other. Yeah, they mirror each other. And this is just my approach. It's pretty balanced. It tends to be kind of attack heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's just my preference for playing. So, there are a number of completely... Here's a question. Yeah. Can you undo a thing that you Yes, did? Okay. it is possible to completely reset your tree, and um, I'll show you that after we're done with the story. Okay, good, because that might be something if people yeah, don't if know you, what style they like, they If you mess up out. and you realize that you want to try something new, uh, every time you complete a dungeon, you get a circuit reset. Um, okay. So, yeah, it you use those, and they will let you try out new things, and then in the end game, you can actually uh, buy them. Uh, cool. They're not they're not super cheap, but you can uh, you can get as many of them as you need if you're nice. willing to put in the effort for them. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Hi. Hey, Leah, you're here as well. I just arrived myself. So who won? No one's won yet. Wait, I'm last, oh man. This is not the end of the dungeon, we. No, this seems to be more like a break room in the middle. Phew, that means the race isn't over yet. But the man of this dungeon sure is full of puzzles. True. I mean, we could take a break. There's a landmark here, after all. Ooh, wee, that's right. We'll leave it up to you, Leah. Just enter the dungeon when you want to continue the race. Can we look around? Uh -huh. Sure, we can take a little... So yeah, we Here's have a a, uh, a landmark there. There's not a whole lot to see up, up on this little pretty. landing. It's just I like you can see the waterfall. Nice and pretty. You can imagine the view is probably pretty good from here. Oh, why don't they let you see the view? Well, because, you know, we've got our, our limited perspective on the thing. Ugh. Look at how pretty the waterfalls are. But yeah, you got the waterfalls. So this goes down. This to the... is a weird question. Hmm? This is a weird question about yep. HTML and JavaScript. And yep. Stuff. So it's running in a browser. Yep. How are they animating stuff? Is um, that like the Unix engine? Or like, what are they doing? I mean, they're they're just applying. Uh, they're probably using Canvas, which is a a two D drawing element that you can put into HTML5 and then you can basically say I need to put stuff here and then animation is just drawing things in different places um, a frame at a time and canvas lets you it, I mean it lets you do kind of stop motion animation effectively well I mean effectively that's all animation is I know is, it is all just stop motion um, that's, that's animation in any game is you render a still frame right. and then you render it slightly differently the next time so right yeah, that's all that's going on, is they're just drawing stuff to the screen, frame by frame. At like that's six, a lot of work. I don't think there's actually a frame cap on the game, but, you know, or maybe there is. Maybe it's maybe it's capped at 60. Anyway, I don't remember, but well, it runs really smoothly. It looks really, really um, nice, so I was just wondering... Oh, yeah. Pixel art in this is top-notch. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Mm, indeed. No, it's I love so it. It's so rich and textured and just beautiful. I love it. 
Yep. Well, anyway, yes, shall let's we? continue to the second half. Okay, race now officially continues. Here we go. Mm. So, now that we have ice of our own, we can do things like this. Ooh. Ice of our own. And I love what they've done with the guideline here, by the way, because it takes oh. into account the things that it's going to go through, so you can properly line up your shot oh, wow. to, um, nice to figure out what you need. Now, it's like all the little detail touches and polish in this lava? game. Yeah, it's lava, so Ooh. things are getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Oh, wow, that's so, so clever. Yeah, now we get this cool little mechanic. Oh, nice. Uh, you shoot chunks of ice onto the yep. lava and it makes stepping stones. Wow, that's way like too cool. Like so. Before we get out of here, we want to um, shoot this guy across here so we can make another bridge. Like that. Uh, and then we can get that chest. Yeah. Nice, that was fun. Yep. So now we head out this door. Another fun little mechanic, these little furnace things, Ooh. which send a steam bubble kind That's of a so thing. Cute. Oh my so cute. So... How did they come up with all this? Just lots of thinking? And yeah, thinking. it's, you know, it's just, you know, trying out cool mechanics and then just combining them together. And then for this... Oh, wow. Get... You did it at the same time? That's the goal. You have to get these within a oh, relatively geez. small window of each Gosh. other, otherwise it doesn't work. You make this look so freaking easy, man. Well, that's the goal. It's not to spend a whole lot of time and just kind of show you the right way to do it. Also, just to let you guys know, mm -hmm. how many times have you played this game? Uh, a lot. I'm getting close to 500 hours spent on this game yeah, at this point. Yeah, so, so don't be jealous... <laughs> Just keep playing. Just keep playing. You'll get good at it. Yes. I just want to let you it know that. It took me a little while. Yeah, it so was. So I, lo I love this I love this guy, by the way. Oh, my gosh. He's scary and on fire. So Wait, first, you got to hit him. Skeleton. Whoa. He is a magma golem. You took him out in, like, less than a minute. I know. He's, he looks big and scary, but... He's again, very it's... impervious to ice. So, yeah, if, if that went by a little fast... Hit him with ice shots first to break his flame shield, then you have to hit him with one of these to to properly break him, and then just wail on him, and you should be able to take him out in one cycle. Wow. Um, oh, amazing. We're going to come over here just to turn Ooh. that on, create ourselves a little shortcut when we need it. What does that do? Um, oh, this little jump pad to get you from the bottom oh, level up to the top pad. level. See, okay. this is where we came in first, remember? Oh, Yeah. Maybe. So now we're up here. Perhaps. I was desperately trying to learn the knit, the Tunisian knit stitch, so... Yeah. And then we get... I made this. No. No worries. Can shoot it through the fire? Wow. Yep. Well, I mean, we can, we can shoot stuff through yeah. fire, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Point, point, point. Uh, so take this door first. I mean, it doesn't oh, really matter. Love, Explore I this really temple. Love, Have fun I with it. I love the jello magic water thing. Uh, I messed that one up. Oops. Alright. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. I know, I love I love that little trick. So we get that. What happens if you like run out? Oh, you hmm? just hit Oh yeah, if you run into the water. Leah doesn't like water. <laughs> it has and it's got like a field around it, yeah. so yeah, Leah does not like water. That is true. That one is a little tricky to, to make look right. There. Oh wow! So that's what you need to do for that. Skip that one. Get this guy up here a little bit, and then do this. Oh wow, that's satisfying. It's like ice dominoes. And then hop up right here. I'm gonna make your way down to this room, which uh. Has the portent of enemies. Uh oh. Those oh come are on. Shooting at you. They're, they're shooting bubbles at me. Oh. You'll get enough of it, I'm gonna just smack you around. Oh, 
That's okay. You know, a little bit of damage is fine. So, ice, by the way. Ice would go good, yeah. Yeah, they do not like ice. Wow. Well, most bugs don't like the cold. Wow, so, you threw that thing. Yep. Again, ice. It's very similar to the uh, to the previous dungeon with the little cold bugs, mm -hmm. where once you got the element, they became almost trivial. Oh, That's kind of how yeah. this works. The only complication with this room is, you know, platforming around it while you're trying to deal with them. Uh, we're going to see another fight in a second here that showcases just how powerful this is. Um, so, this room, uh, feel free to unlock that door as you Very pass colorful. it. Uh, we are going to get to that. <laughs> um, but in the meantime, just take a detour back through here and head north this time. So here, you'll see how much... Nice damage that does. And see how easy those guys now become to deal with. I like how they're almost like lightning bugs where they light up. Like they're like fireflies. Yep. Are so satisfying yep. in this game. Take this door first. Oh. There you go. So this is making our way across here. You gotta set up all these little use the shadow to kinda help you do this. We need to get this guy into position. Oops. What? I messed up the placement of that. And then we want to freeze it right there. And then shoot it down like that. What? So yeah, cool. really cool puzzles. No, I love the puzzles they in this. Like, they are, like, I'd love to hear more about how they develop them from the devs. Well, yeah, that would... I mean, you can ask Loxon, you know some of his thought process, since I know he designed a bunch of these. It's yeah, sure. kind of a group effort, I think, but... Oh, I'm sure. It's, these kinds so, of things are always so complex. This one. It's so rare. many switches. Um, too many switches. Too many switches. Uh, this one, we kind of have to trace our path through here. Mm. So, what does that do? Uh, that one is one? not... So each of these goes to a different uh, switch in here. Oh, Okay, so we need to do that one first. And that one goes over there. And then this one goes over here. And then this, we need to switch this one to this little path right here. And we need, uh, what do I need here? Yeah, that guy. So this one, we need to create two paths that arrive there at exactly the same time. And then you've gotten through that puzzle. Nice. You do this very well. Make our way across this. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did I? All right. Close, Maybe. Not close. It's weird that... There we go. Okay. I don't know exactly what was going on with that, but no worries. <laughs> Didn't that just bounce off of? Oh, the wall. Oh. Like so. And then this... We actually need to get two of these set up. Just change your magic. So that we can make a double path to hop across. And we have another ah! one of these guys to fight. Do not want. Uh, the melee art, by the way, that I'm using for cold. Um, which is this guy, um, is long wind-up, high damage. Um, and it's kind of what I end up stuck on. There's uh, more of a, a whirly 
spin blade kind of thing that you can also switch it to. Mm -hmm. I usually like that because it's a good way to, if you can, if you can get the timing right, um, it can set things up really well because it can do a lot of damage. Uh, and so when I've got him in a broken state like that, it's really useful. Also, you will have noticed we picked up a new key. Um, so now we can start hunting down all those silver chests next time. Here, we need to get this set up on this side, and this set up on this side, so that we can create the bridge we need to hop across, and proceed up into this room. Uh, this is a fun little timing puzzle. Uh, we need ice first. fire, so that we have this going the right way, and then once we pass that, get the ice back on there so that you trigger this as well. Cool? How you doing, honey? I'm good. I, I probably need that. <laughs> Alright, well, we're almost done with this. Okay. We're getting close anyway. It's Sunday afternoon. I need a nap. <laughs> Alright. And, oh. Oh? These guys look a little different. But they have blue bodies. They have blue bodies. They're a little bit stronger. They have a neat high-powered laser thing, and they will dodge out of the way of your shots if you don't catch them at the right moment. That's no good. Also, moths get energized by by falling into the fire. So, oh, if you if you drop them into the into lava, the lava is they'll they'll hop back up. This, if you can avoid it, but you know it's all it's awesome. Anyway, we have dealt with them. Um, again, uh, actually, yeah, you want to go down here first, if I remember. No, that's wrong. Um, yeah, you want to go over here first. Um, yeah, but temple's big. I get a little confused about it. Anyway, okay. ice here, and drop that right down there pass over here, and then this is a fun little... That was really cool. Fun little trick right there. Let's so pick up me. another key. Um, so now, yes, proceed south. Here, we need to get these set up in such a way that they will do what we need them to do. So we're going to pull this all the way down here. And we're going to put this right up there. That should be fine. They look like they have faces on top of them, don't they? Oh, these guys? Yeah, well, they're, they're arrows. Like... They're arrows. I so. know, but they look sort of like faces when you're tired and you're kind of <laughs> bleary-eyed. It's adorable. Alright, so you get that set up there, and now we've got another similar kind of puzzle, and we are going to show you here um, a nicely hidden chest in the dungeon. Um, this is uh, a very nice thing to pay attention to and uh, make sure that you get, because it's a nice piece of equipment. So, we pull these up here, we set them where they need to be, and you'll see that the exit is clearly we need to use ice. But, if you are very observant, you'll also notice that there is a little dotted line here, which usually indicates, you know, some sort of a puzzle. So instead of using ice, hit this with fire first. And indeed, there's a trigger right over there. And a chest that you can grab with a very nice piece of equipment. Um, which is good, because my equipment level is kind of getting a little low, so it's about time to upgrade. Um, I really need something to replace this with, but... We'll, uh, we'll get that soon. We have a nice upgrade once we get out of this dungeon, and we're doing fine in here. Um, so, then, use the ice. Um, that lets you proceed down through this door. And then here... Hey, it's not telling you how many enemies. Yeah, it doesn't tell you quite how many enemies you're going to be fighting here. Oh, good, 
there's just five. <laughs> We go. That fight used to be significantly harder. I think there was another mm. wave of enemies that you needed to get through, and they might have been balanced to have a little bit more health. And mm. Anyway, for whatever reason, either I've gotten better at the game, or they've gotten easier. That fight is not as much of a problem anymore. So we can open that side, but before we get into there, well, we've got... Laser moths. Oh, so you've met those too. Why? Why are the laser moths? Um, I don't know. I want to strangle the person responsible for these enemies. Gosh. By the way, the cold element is great, isn't it? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, we, oui, I guess. You could almost say it is cool. We. Oui. Uh, anyway, it's refreshing to have it in this hot environment. <laughs> to be honest, I was really craving for some ice cream since we've been running through the desert. Yeah? Ooh, ice cream really would hit the spot right now. It's too bad you can't just summon it with one of those cold skills. Or, like, make it out of the ice. Man, how strange would that be? I'd enjoy throwing ice cream at those laser moths and seeing them suffer. <laughs> Gosh, you really do hate those moths, don't you? Very much. Anyway, let's wrap this up this race. Yeah, it shouldn't be much longer. <laughs> Hi! Kill <laughs> them all. Kill them all, kill them all dead. There we go. Hey. Sneak our way through that. Uh, this leads us back to this room. We have an entrance now. And we really just need to wrap up a few more things down here. So, to get this working, this is kind of a timing thing. We want to get this around here, and then hop up here. Um, actually, we don't want to do that quite yet. We need to get this activated. Uh, and then, we want to do a similar kind of thing with this. Get this into the loop. And then, oh. up here, we can trigger it to run over it. Clever, clever. There. Clever, clever, clever. This one is timed. All right. And then we have this little puzzle here. Similar kind of step on the button switch thing. Nice. Almost again. So here, we need to get this into the loop. Mm -hmm. Let it go around the loop once. And that way they arrive at the same time. Mm -hmm. This is a fun little fight. Oh no! So, here we have more of these guys. Okay. Also, that blue triangle is you going in between your elements, right? Yes. Okay. So that's your fighting element. Yeah, because these guys are weak to ice. Like a lot of things in this dungeon are. So I'm just... Oh, no. Oh, but then this guy suddenly shows uh -oh, up. Oh, I don't like him. And you're surrounded by... by lava. Terrific! Okay, give me a bubble. Give me a bubble. Okay. Oh. There it is. Oh, no. Oh, you did it! Yeah, it's gonna kill! I need a bubble. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nice. You don't need those things in every... No, well, see, this right? is the fun thing about that fight is yeah. normally when you're fighting those guys, you have, a, like, a bubble generator somewhere. Mm -hmm. In this one, you have to use the bubble generated by the other enemy, mm -hmm. which can hurt you, and you need to freeze it at the right time and use it against it. So I, it's just a really yeah. challenging fight, and it also has a fun little fake out where it's like, oh, great, I'm going to try to fight a bunch of squids. Um, and then it's like, and oh, then it's like, oh no, you're gonna you're gonna fight gonna something a lot more interesting. Squids. So that is all the keys we need. Again, that's one of the reasons we set this up so that it's easy to get back up here, mm -hmm. um, and then walk all the way back down here. And then, as you may have been expecting, we have another one of these fun little puzzles. Mm -hmm. 
fun. <laughs> oh Alright, the first one that we want to have up is that. And then, let's see if I can do this my first try. Wait till that passes there. Hit that with fire again. Whoa. Hit that. And hit that. Oh my gosh. Ta-da. You did it on your first try. Whoa. These puzzles tend to look a lot more intimidating than they actually are. It's mostly about figure out, figuring out the right sequence of events. Yes. And, and then there's actually plenty of time to do them once you know what you need to do. Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Emily. Emily is not going to like this part. No. Give her props for pushing through, though. She obviously wants to win more than she is afraid of bugs. There are a lot of those guys. Yep, there are. Down to three. Yeah. Come on down here. All set. Yay. Pretty nice, huh? Very nice. The master key. And with that, that's actually all the chests. Oh, nice. Um, at the end of the dungeon? Yeah, we're at the end of the dungeon now. So, let's go fight that final boss. That wasn't the final boss? No, well, that was like the final combat challenge before the boss. Oh, boy. Uh, which is another major feature of all these dungeons. And then I love this little touch. Rising pillar there. Uh-huh. I saw it. You saw it? Yeah. Okay. Your reactions are very slow, so I'm, I'm I thinking know, that you're about... I need a nap. All right. So I saw it. What was it? What oh, it, else was it trying? To... Oh, it was just a neat little rising pillar from the center of the thing that you, you stood on. It's neat. All right. Uh oh. Emily is also gonna hate this. Oh boy. Wee. Well, that is beautiful and terrifying. It is very Galadriel-like in that way. Hit it in the face until it dies. Yeah. Again, heat, or cold rather, is your friend here. You don't like it. And that's that throw art. Okay, so now you see bubbles. You need to get these into a bridge for yourself to cross over here. And you need to get to this guy, otherwise he will heal. Um, so, that's the main trick to this fight. Every phase he does another one of those dashes. Right, we got him down on his last bit there.
and he's done. Whoa. Oh, lava. Up. So, yeah, I, I, I probably made that one look, look easier than it is, but... <laughs> That's the idea. <laughs> kill it with fire. Yep, that's it. Well, we kill it with ice. But there you go. That's the end of the dungeon. Very fun. And we are easily first. <laughs> Thank you very much. Whoa. Yay, Leah! Oh, Emily. Congratulations on being fast. Mm. Ah, Drat, I'm last this time. Yeah, sorry. That's surprising. You've been so fast before. Ow. I had a pretty hard time with those fire golems. Ah, oh, wait, those were tricky. Yes, also that boss. I mean, how are you holding up, Emily? I managed, sort of. Mm -mm. Hush. <laughs> Anyway, it was a fun race. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to collect the reward, right? Mm-hmm. We oui, allons-y. Oui. Ooh, pretty. You want to read this one? It's technically female. I guess so. She looks like she's a Triforce person. The everlasting sun shines strongest on these lands. Its flaming glory bearing life and death alike. On this unforgiving path, you stayed persistent. With frozen sweeps and strokes, you crossed the scorching grounds. You, the traveler, the envoy of change. You have proven yourself worthy. Take this shade to open the path to the east. You have chosen wisely. <laughs> Your resolve is evident and deserving gift of strength. Let me add to your inner flame to make its warmth long-lasting. Nice. Coin. Yay. SP bar extended. Ooh. More combat arts. Let your every step form the path of your growth. Cool. Congratulations, Seeker. You've collected your second element and reached another milestone of Operation Trackwalker. With the Red Flame Shade, you can now access Autumn's Fall to the northeast of Rookie Harbor. Ooh. To proceed, seek the ancient statue within Autumn's Fall and accept your next trial. Ooh. Take this reward for your accomplishments. Legit. Circuit override was that. Good luck and stay vigilant. What does it mean? Circuit override, well, you asked this before, is can you reset your tree? Mm. Well, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. With the circuit override. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie, got that squared away. That space bird was especially awesome. Love that flaming sword. Me too. Makes sense. She's the symbol for heat and fire, right? Mm. Are we also? Just look at this place. It's beautiful. So much better than that gloomy cave we had last time. I agree. Come on, I want to have a look down from over there. Let's read some of these. Mm. It all started when Diorpus, the ethereal god of creation, was born into the emptiness of the void. After pondering for eons in solitude, his desire for company gave birth to the gods of shape. Enil is one of those gods, the god of the triangle, and the creator of ever-burning flames. Is it the Enel? Enel, yeah, you're right. Or Enel? Enel. Enel. Enel is the creator of ever-burning flames. She made the sun with blinding light and filled the ground deep beneath our feet with a molten stone. Her creations spread warmth, yet consume life at the same time. Mm -hmm. At first the world was dark, hence Diorbis and Enel created the first sun to spread light. Yet at night, when the sun was hidden, the world was as dark as ever. Enel wanted to place many more suns close by, creating a world of constant brightness. Yet this world was monotonous, lacking dusk, dawn, and the coolness of the night. The two gods then had a new idea. 
They created millions upon millions of new suns far, far away in all directions. Thanks to Enel and Diorbis efforts, we can today enjoy the night with a beautiful starry sky. Not only are the stars beautiful, Diorbis placed them in particular to stir our curiosity for other worlds out there. Cool. After Enel created millions of suns, she craved a challenge. She wanted to create the largest, most majestic sun imaginable. Thus, she started adding her eternal flame, adding more and more as the sun grew further and further, until finally the sun had too much fire and couldn't hold it any longer. What followed was a most spectacular and colorful explosion. Even today, we very rarely witness these colorful explosions in the night sky as a testament of Enel's boredom. <laughs> What does that mean? Is it like... Supernovas. Northern Lights? Oh, supernovas. That's what I think, anyway. Okay. You know, it's it's made-up creation myth for the story. It's it's all, like, the the game within a game's backstory. Right. So, anyway, here we are. What a nice view. It's astonishing just thinking how huge this place is. Oui, and all that for a game. Well, then, it was great playing with you two. But I'm afraid it's time for me to log off now. I have to get back to my studies. Oui, same for me, actually. What are you studying anyway, Tronny? Biology? Oh, that's right. How'd you know? <laughs> Just a wild guess. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about these things, I was wondering for a long time now. Leah, what do you actually do? Uh, we've been playing for so long and I still hardly know anything about you. I know you're very quiet now, but I'd really like to know a bit more about you. Hmm. Um, Emily? You do know her speech synchronization issue, right? Hmm? What? Leah can't talk. What? Since when? Since all the time, I think. You're choking, right? I mean, you hear her say things sometimes, right? Uh, she can only say certain words, that's all. Hmm. Seriously, Leah? You can't talk? How come you know? Flynn told me. Wait, the other guild members know too? Yes. Why the hell did anyone tell me? Uh, I honestly thought you knew. <sighs> I can't believe this. Emily, don't worry about it. It's not like Leah could have told you. <laughs> mm. All that time. I just thought you was a quiet type that you just didn't like to talk much. But honestly, everyone else knew it? Ha, this makes me feel dumb. Oh, Emily. Oh. Uh, mm -mm. I I'm sure it's just a stupid coincidence. It better be just that. Though I'm pretty sure Lucas could have told me. And knowing that guy. We will have a little talk with him soon. <laughs> anyway, this is a bit of a bummer. I wanted to get to know you better, and now you can't talk. Hmm. Oh, well, I'll make sure to prepare a sufficient list of yes-no questions for next time. Uh, I'm just joking. Anyway, I really got to go. Au revoir, everyone. Yes, same for me. Goodbye, and until next time. Bye. Ooh, that's rough. So, Emily finally figured it out, huh? Mm. I still cannot believe she managed to stay oblivious when the rest of the first scholars learned about it. <laughs> you really need just the right conditions for something like this to happen. Mm. Bye. Hmm? Bye. You want to log off? Mm. I suppose it was a pretty long day. See you soon, Leah. <laughs> We're gonna get through this dream segment and then we'll be done. Right. This is a this is a really good one though, so. I believe it. Yeah. Ooh, looks like we're running around with siege foam. Did you know? Worms have five hearts. <laughs> ah! Scary. Where is it? Yes, like this. Ooh. Oh. You're trying this again? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I told you this one isn't for everybody. Come on, I don't want you to break your fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
this about and by the way this segment is playable what oh you can actually run around in here to different areas. Some places we do something, and other places we say no. So wait, did you say no to going into the cave, or did it say you could It said I couldn't. So we're, we're looking at different places, but we don't seem to really have anything to do with anything. And chirping. the beginning. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. How does this all connect? It's interesting that there's a thing with her fingers. Yeah. That seems to be repeating. This place should be fine. You won't be integrated into the official playground anytime soon. Right. There's enough room to run some experiments. Hmm? No, Sergei isn't here. Mm. He got cold feet. I can't really blame them. Still, we got this far. We can't just stop now, can we? So what was that about? Goodness. Find out later. Next time. <laughs> Not even next time. Oh. We've got a ways to go. Later on cross <laughs> cross code. Um. Good morning, dear. Hi. Hi. Hope you slept well. I had a really weird dream, actually. <laughs> there is something I have to tell you. There have been some complications. And as a result, you have been offline for three days now. <gasps> Sorry, there was not much I could do about it. What happened? Uh... uh well, do not worry. Things are still fine with you, Leah, given the circumstances. There have just been some technical problems. But I also have some good news for you. I used that time to add a new word for you, Leah. Ooh. All right, here goes. Wait, wait! To be honest, it becomes increasingly difficult for me to add more words for you, Leah. I am afraid things might break if I just keep doing things this way. Ah, uh, I mean in your avatar connection software. I also keep backups just in case, no need to worry. Anyway, I thought wait might be useful to tell others to, well, wait. Like when there is something you want to tell them. For instance, when you happen to remember something, you can tell me by saying wait, right? Ooh, wait! Yes, exactly like this. Wait! Uh... Wait! Ah, you mean you do remember something? Mm. Great, let me see. Uh, is it a person? I see. Maybe a place. Mm. Okay. Was it a place you have not yet reached in the game? Mm. Interesting. Now how can we narrow this down further? Oh. Ah, I assume that must be Emily or Citron. Mm. Leah, you're back! Hi! Finally, where have you been the last few days? Uh, oh, that's right. Um, Whatever, we got some great news for you. I'm here with Tronny and Rookie Harbor Center. You know, at the fountain. We should come over. So much stuff has happened here. Ooh. Mm. So, yeah, see you soon. <laughs> Seems like you have been missed already. Aww. <laughs> well, let us discuss your dream at another time. There is no reason to rush it. Just go and meet the others. Mm. That is a perfect place to stop. Huzzah! So... 
Sorry if that one's been a little long, guys, but there's really no good place to break that up, uh, given what we were trying to get through. We will see you next time. We are starting to get pretty close to the new content. Yay! So I'm excited for that, and you should be too. Au revoir! See you next time! See you next time. Bye!